Yesterday on Room World 7 Deadly Sins, your good friend General Joe had an epic showdown with a Goliath Mechanoid and single-handedly took it out, bringing back for us the second trophy, the Trophy of Wrath, taking us two out of seventh of the uh, trophies to victory. But we also discovered the sad truth that we're at the point of the game now where we can face some of the much tougher threats this mod pack has to offer. As a little shittle found out when Necron suddenly appeared outside the base and he had to take them out. And as much as I'm not worried about murderous death bots coming by the dozen and potentially wiping us out because we have shittle, we do only have one shittle. And our colony wealth has also spiked to uh, staggering levels. Really just pretty goddamn high. So I think we really need to lean hard today into our seven sins, right? We need to make sure that we're really embracing everything they've got to offer. Yesterday was a bit more of a frantic rebuild, so we haven't had illegal or Shittle doing any research. We haven't had Arcadius crafting any weapons. All I want today is a single fabrication bench. Is that too much to ask? Y yes, it is, because we haven't got enough power to actually turn the bloody research lab on. But I think we did a pretty good job rebuilding yesterday to say that the episode before that, the entire base was knocked down. So we're going to double down on Rimmerfella. We have the crude cracker, the chem fuel power plant, the refineries. They've added something called a large chem fuel power plant, which I've actually not seen before. So I want to give Legal Lee the full oil drilling operation. He does below his beachfront property have a pretty sizable oil cap. And unlike last time, I think that would be pretty safe from... Mechanoid threats or any enemy threats to be honest. This also might be a mistake because it could link us up with the edge of the map But it looks as if something is behind here. You see there's uh, a lot of rocks missing It could just be obsidian which would be kind of ideal But I want to dig out this cave over here so that we can hide the oil mining Facilities over on this side pull them in a mountain by themselves fill it with some fire foam poppers and just leave it The resource console we've got in the lab over here We pump it over to a kind of hidden oil island and then we pump it back out to wherever we need it. Oh, and how could I forget my crazy science project? So we captured a werewolf and then had it rip off Romulus's leg, all for science. <laughs> and now he has San Sanina's lupinus, which is werewolf disease, right? Now, someone explained to me that the way this works is that we basically have to wait for it to, it to hit 100%. When that happens, he will become infected. And whenever a blood moon happens after that, he'll turn into a berserk werewolf. And as long as between now and the next blood moon, we have him sippy a potion, instead of turning into a berserk werewolf, he'll just gain the stat boost. Or maybe I've been lied to by the comment section for the purposes of shits and giggles. Who knows? I do really have to give him an arm and a leg, though. I mean, if we had a fabrication bench, that would kind of solve that issue. Ha <laughs> peg hoof! <laughs> oh, I mean, it's so good. All right, done. We do have a spare arm as well that we were saving for the eighth sin. It would be better to just install this arm on him and take the arm from, say, Remus to uh, put in the stockpile for later because Remus will regrow an arm. Romulus really won't. Oh, come on. We've only just started. And I really should probably get Rubber Mummy equipped with a lethal weapon before I start complaining again. Dongo Pod, Dongo Pod, where are you, Dongo Pod? You're here somewhere. There we go. Hey, come and swap these out for me. Oh, no. Pilgrims, you picked a terrible time to visit. And no doubt I'm going to get the blame for this. Oh, they are going to get absolutely <laughs> shredded. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, we could probably go and rescue them, but I'm not going to be doing that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame me for failing that. There is literally nothing we could have done there. We wouldn't have been able to get through the lava fast enough. And that'll just about do it. Thank you, Shittle. Sorry, little Necron. There can only be one genocidal robot here. Wait, did she just fail to kill it? I've never seen that before. What? What? She can't kill it? Are you kidding? Uh... There you go. I feel like I probably could have done some experiments with that Immortal Necron. Oh, we've got another one. Don't worry about it. Can she equip the Gorse Rifle? What the f Fuck. Uh, that one stood back up. You know I joked about them coming back to life. Uh, Larry? Maybe get out of there? Ah, uh, okay. Maybe we should be a little bit more careful with those. We can do operations on it, but tragically, we can't strip the Necron and give Robo Mummy some of the parts. Although that is probably a horrible, horrible idea. Reject flesh, return to robot. I don't know if I like that. What the fuck? Where did you get eight whips? Is this something to do with Arcadius? Oh, no. You fool. 
You built all these lovely ensuite bedrooms and forgot one thing that's very important on a biome that's 63 degrees. Coolers. <laughs> oh, poor Romulus must be baking in there. 61C. Sweet, precious Romulus. How I failed you. Do you think we'll get by with passive coolers? I think we'll probably manage with passive coolers. Given that we've got big power issues right now, I think we'll just throw some of these down. See how it goes. And then if it's like still not good enough. Maybe we'd be able to do like passive coolers in each room and then in the middle room, an overwall cooler and then vents. Try and save the power a little bit here, but we'll try that for now. 736 wood. What did I get the dryads on again? Uh, bark skin, chlora, and uh, that's not a... <laughs> that's quite clearly not a granlin tree. Berry maker. Oh, I might have to swap the berry maker over to... Over to tree. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Now, before I forget to do anything else as well, while we're still in the early days here, let's get Shittle making hats so that eventually he can turn Fat Larry into a frost wizard. Because a lot of people in the comment section reminded me that in the original series Fat Larry was in, he had the crypto armor from vanilla expanded vikings and the side effect of the crypto armor is that it slows down your bleed factor so you basically can't bleed to death but the armor broke while he was wearing it but he never lost the crypto bleed side effect so he was permanently a frosty man so turning fat larry into a frosty wizard in a volcano biome seems pretty good or he'll melt and die one or the other so we're up to 40 percent. i wonder what these stack up to plus 70 percent plus 50 percent do they just stack infinitely? Because that would be... Well, that would be obscene. I'll take as many blood moons as you can throw at me in that case. Holy shit. So I want to say shittle on tailoring. What was the crafting skill we needed again? It was pretty significant, right? Gem of Arcane Insight. Six crafting. Okay, that's really not too bad at all. And then I'm going to have you make the finest werewolf bowler hats this world has ever seen. <laughs> what does it count as? Uh, we got some chaos hide like that. Heavy fur? Could be heavy fat. Oh, no, it's almost certainly wolf skin. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Make bowler hat, and then we're going to have Shittle do that with his three crafting. He's only going to gain three levels. And if I'm also not mistaken, something dropped out. Yeah, look, Ring of Knowledge. Now, it's tainted, but it's 15% XP gain. So, it'll lower his mood a little bit. But to be honest, I think it's well worth it. To try and make Lazy Shittle's life a little bit easier, I've given him a whole shelf full of wolf skin there and swapped him over to... Cultist vestments, they use 100 ingredients each and take a lot more work as well. So hopefully it'll level up a little bit quicker if he's not running back and forth. Because doing anything quickly is absolutely not in Shittle's nature. How are these rooms looking with the passive cooler? Still about 30C, which isn't life-threatening. Oh, he still has heat stroke though. Shit. Apparently, for some reason, you're also not allowed to give people peg hooves, which I, I'm really not pleased about. But I also did notice that... What was that? Hello? Oh! <gasps> Uh, mechanoids? At this time of year? Localized entirely within Arcadius's cock base? Okay. Let's take this carefully. Get behind some cover. These are, these are not gonna fuck around. Uh, Fat Larry, flail around randomly. I wanted to get General Joe in first place. Don't blow my wind turbines. Nice. There we go. One more pikeman. I wanted General Joe to get in there with the shield. Okay. Nicely handled. I mean, except for the fact that it's once again cut off a power grid entirely. Nicely handled. I'm starting to think I should really build some other <laughs> alternate cables here. Maybe not having the entire power grid run through a single set of power lines wouldn't be a wouldn't be a terrible idea. Ooh, my rice plants! Hauling bone to plumbing? I don't give a shit about the plumbing while well, he's already there now. We might as well let him carry on. Certainly cut that one close, Remus. Nice work. Wow, that's kind of sad. Everybody's down there having a party. Meanwhile, General Joe's just up here. Spending time with his trees. I kinda like that though, because as Wrath, he probably wouldn't have patience for Whatever the fuck is going on in here. <laughs> and at long last, that is so huge. 8,000 research. Bear in mind the game still thinks we're cavemen right now. And maybe now at some point today, we can actually get fabrication. Oh, wow. Look at the weird ingredients it needs. 40 steel, 15 bronze, 40 plus steel, 10... What is that? Tungsten? Titanium? Something like that. Copper, gold, and eight components. Sure. And we absolutely have to get Remus on that right away. We can't go much longer with these people being semi-naked or wearing clothes that we've had since basically the start at this point. What is that? I don't think I wouldn't notice that. Who have we got nearby? Nugget and Arcadius. Uh, draft everybody. Draft everybody. Get over here. Romulus, we might need that grenade launcher. More mechanoids. Wow, they are really unending, aren't they? We've really pissed them off recently. Okay, be careful. Oh, Nugget. 
Oh, God. Shot in the leg. No permanent damage, though. Holy shit, that was lucky. Be careful, Romulus. Oh, God. Robo Mummy, can you hit them with your... Whoa. Look at that. So it's got two separate effects there, I suppose. It does sound like that it has different different fire modes. I've no idea how to access them, probably because we're not Necrons, right? Okay, just a Lancer. Nice, good work. I mean, they're only very minor, but the fact that they can drop in at any time and inconvenience us and almost blow off someone's leg immediately could stack up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we finish the multi-analyzer, just in case it rerolls the research, I think it would be a good idea to queue a blowback operation first does lead to turrets and i think turrets would be pretty damn nice around now and the power grid is just about holding in there even with this on there's no way in hell we can turn on the eniac for a while not until we've got the oil set up and i guess while we wait for shittle to be able to craft enough clothes to turn fat larry into a wizard <laughs> never just ne never gets old i guess our goal then will be to dig the dig the oil well so let's throw I, I do like the idea of putting it all down this area so let's dig some of this out we won't go too crazy with it. We'll do something like that to kick things off. Oh, that's good. It's not fabrication, but it was absolutely on my list of things to do today. Okay, that's incredible. Now, say for example, someone's leg is blown off by a very sudden unexpected Lancer attack. We might genuinely be able to do something to patch them up. That's assuming that the prosthetics, of course, are made at the fabrication bench. Otherwise, we're still, we're still screwed. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, do we want robots, which would have been very appropriate for Shittle anyway. We did say that him being... Slothful does seem pretty good that he would build that and he's training up in crafting and he's mainly good at intellectual So the droids seem pretty pretty good for him not to mention we could get battle droids Adeptus Sororitas so so yeah, whatever uh Sororitas power armor might be the first power armor we can actually make what does it do? Shooting accuracy move speed. Okay, that's something or moisture pumps you know what? Give me the battle droids. I, for one, look forward to our new robot overlord, Shittle. Maybe by the end of the series, he might have built a single battle droid. Whoa. What is that? Hospital servo skull? Um, right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to take it. <laughs> I'd really... I'd really love fabrication, though. No pressure. Oh, we actually got told about this raid. A raid from a chaos den, huh? There's more of these very angry pigs. Oh, and then a really, really angry pig. Hello. Enemy exotic pet. <laughs> oh, you know, I recently bought one of those exotic pets. Oh, you mean a, a Tarsier or a, a Fennec Fox? No, it's a friggin' Razor Gore. <laughs> That's it. Come in. Just mind the Necrons flailing around on the front door. Oh, good lord, Jittle. Is it tanky at all? No. <laughs> no, no, it's really not. Now, I know this isn't necessarily the best biome. Permanently between 50 to 70 degrees C. Next to nowhere, we can naturally grow crops at all. But holy shit, are they so easy to defend in. Oh, this is horrible. Ah. Uh, Glutamort Autopsy, Animal Autopsy, Arcane Forge? I suppose we'll go... I mean, Glutamort Autopsy would be quite good given that we're kind of almost done with building a person sure why not legally why not now some people when they see a blood moon they think horrifying werewolf monsters gonna rip them to pieces i'm thinking more fun experiments to have with romulus and remus or at least what's left of them now the first time i did this on romulus obviously i didn't know they had to let the disease spread so he is he, he has an immunity to that now that's that's completely cleared up but in hind hindsight it would make even more sense if i'd have tried it on remus given that he's freaking celestial so we'll try and capture a wolf and make remus fist fight it we might have to set the imperial servo arm so he doesn't punch a hole through the damn thing again but this is not only potentially an upgrade for remus it's a lot more totems for shittle to eat so to try and maximize that i'm gonna swap out all of their dongo pods as incredible as they are for these random rifles that we've just kind of accrued over time. I say we've just accrued. What I mean is pilgrims have turned up to our base with them and then they've been horribly savaged. Now we've just got to hope that they can actually kill the werewolves fast enough with regular plain old guns. I've of course got shit down the bottom still though in case of emergencies. Boy, these wolves are getting out of hand. Better send in the emergency shit. Oh, no good. There wasn't even time for lunch. All we're really doing is scaring them away. 
That's not ideal. Yeah, look, they keep trying to path in a different direction. If it takes too long, our people are going to break down before we can kill the bloody things. Okay, okay, that works a little bit better. This way, when they start to flee, they're still stuck on the lava, and we can just keep gunning them down. And now they're not on the lava as well, they might be able to have time to go and get lunch before the next lot turn up. Or not. <laughs> It's so fast. This might be a risk, but I'm going to let them go back for 30 seconds and get some food. Otherwise, they're just going to break down mid-fight. Yeah, I'd say that just about works out perfectly. And I'm doing this purely to try and save as many totems as possible. I think it's worth the risk. And I think the point is they're not meant to be super, super powerful. It's whether or not you can survive the entire day or whatever it is of being hunted by werewolves. Please. Chittle needs to sleep. Let's just send in whoever is happiest here, which in this case is going to be these ones. And then we'll let the other ones sleep and then swap them out. Ideally, we should probably only send half, right? We'll just send you guys for now. It's just kind of sad, really. <laughs> oh, it's over. Thank God. They were stood there. Oh, that's so good. They were stood there for so long, the ground has started to compact under their feet. What do we get for our trouble? Besides a lot of totems, of course, that we'll deal with in a second. Some royal jelly. That's always nice. What the hell? Uh, 32 organ modification kits. <laughs> wow, it really is just Christmas come early for Robo Mummy. And then finally... A whole bunch of fungus. Well, that's all well and good, but let's talk about the real treasure here. What bounty did we get from... I guess we'll have to come over here and actually finish the wolves off and maybe haul them all over to the stockpile this time. Of course, we killed 69 werewolves. <laughs> Can't make that up. Oh, look at that. We got three totems of strength. Arcadius, it is your lucky day, my friend. And then little nimble shittle can have the rest of them for sure. And that brings Arcadius up to 180% manipulation. My god. Shittle is up to 180% moving, consciousness, talking, eating, sight. Oh, but look. 5.94 crafting. Fat Larry, my god, today is going to be your day. And meanwhile, down at the bottom of the map, I've started work on the oil facility. This one's obviously a lot more defended, but runs the risk of infestation. So I wanted to, before we start building anything, make sure we got walls and floors down. Some lights... We'll admit it is probably not ideal to have an open flame right next to <laughs> a giant oil processing facility. And it's also going to take a long, long time to get all this stuff built. We need a lot of still a lot of components. Here it is. We're about to cross six crafting for little shittle. This is probably the most important thing he's ever going to do. Thank God. So in theory, now I should be able to right click this and not assign to crafting. Well, what the fuck was he just doing for two days? And there it is. So this will only upgrade Fat Larry to be able to use magic. It doesn't give him a class. It doesn't give him any skills. But it should give him the magically gifted trait. If I remember how to do this correctly. Yeah, there we go. I forget what's next, but I think we need to make a scribing table or something like that. Which is probably on a list of things that we haven't researched yet. <laughs> yes. Give me that. Oh my god, it's still 8,000. Because, of course, we are still monkey. I mean, I can't argue with that. Any technological progress feels very heavily hampered by whatever the hell this thing is. That gives us so many monkey points by itself, it drags us all the way back to caveman. We don't have enough components to build the rest of the oil pump. But if we cancel the chem fuel power plant, we've got enough components then to build the lathe to then build more components. Thank you. Thank you at long last. Ooh. Is that what we need? Hang on. Oh, I don't think that's exactly what we need. I think we need advanced scribing to write the scroll we need to upgrade Fat Larry. But that is an incredible start. Oh, man, geothermal power would also be really good. But we'll take this for the time being. Big oil and even bigger Larry. I suppose we don't really need the lathe anymore, though, right? We just put down a fabrication bench instead. And with a scribing table, that is another step to magical Larry. What have you got for me now? Factory basics. Oh, I think it's got to be that, right? I'm not going to get my hopes up too much for the factory side of things. That would be a big, big task to get enough resources just to start the bloody thing. Whoa, look at the recipe for components. Three steel, five germanium, five copper. I mean, it's cheaper, sure. Oh, we can also make Roombas. Well, that'll save shit a job. Oh, but we have no steel at all. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's cancel the tool cabinet then. I might have to up the quarry priority. Or more specifically, drop the hauling and cleaning priority. And then with that sorted out, I can almost smell the oil. Meanwhile, that's right, Fat Larry. Arcane scribing. 
where the big brain play to turn off the multi-analyzer to limit the research pool. Is that meta gaming? I don't give a shit. We were attacked by six to nine werewolves sandwiched between a mechanoid surprise. I think making Fat Larry shoot ice balls is a is the minimum I deserve. Oh my god, Fat Larry, what have you done? <laughs> You've gone too far this time. Uh, maybe very, very rapidly build some shelves. We do have enough steel. All right. Uh, maybe we'll just help you out with that orbit there, Larry. I don't know why I didn't just stop. He saw the wolf meat piling up in its thousands and just decided, yeah, this is fine. I'll just stop piling up in the kitchen now. Now, how much do we want to bet that we don't have the skill to actually write the book? Automated defense measures? Sure, I guess that'll help out during the next Blood Moon. Scribing table, and then we want to make an arcane script. Uh, oh my god, do we need Devil Strand? No, we need this, right? Unfinished Torn script. This is the same thing, but I believe they don't gain any powers from it. Crafting for Intellectual A. Oh, it's a lower level. 250 unre unrefined Magicite and 100 Cloth. We have that. Well, this is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. What type of wizard will Fat Larry become? Now, this is purely random. I only have a few classes enabled this time around that are based on more of a hell theme. Demon classes, death knights, that type of thing. What I'm saying is it is quite likely that Fat Larry could turn into a succubus. Which would be insane. I would love to turn him into a frost wizard. But I think we will probably just take whatever we can get. Random arcane script. Go on, Fat Larry. Oh, God. What did he become? We still don't know. I had to. Uh, you're actually going to make me check. He's a necromancer? <laughs> well, I suppose in some ways it's kind of appropriate, given that he was up to his eyeballs in meat. I kind of feel like Robot Mummy would be a better choice for necromancer. Now, we can reset the class. We can remove it by using. I believe it was one of the gems at the gem cutting table, right? Ah, uh, yeah, there we are. The Shard of Spirit Extraction. It's actually not that expensive. I, I, I'd i be willing to go for another go on that. How much Magicide do we have? Because that's really the limiting factor here, right? Uh, zero, apparently. 428. Ooh, not as much as I thought. It's 100 for the Shard and 250 for the Torn Script. So we can actually only go for one more attempt on Fat Larry's class with this then. Okay. Goodbye, Necromancer. We've got something called Essence of Magic. Absorbing the Essence grants arcane experience, 344. He didn't... He didn't do anything, though. I guess maybe where he went off and cooked a couple of meals, that apparently counts. Come on, shittle. This has to be it. Larry, you know what to do. Wait, what? Fat Larry doesn't have the magical... Oh, are you kidding? I gotta make another friggin' gem. How much have we got? 78. I can't believe you've done this. In that case, you're all drafted. You're all drafted. Everybody's a miner now. And a staggering amount of strip mining later, we have another gem of arcane insight. And I swear, Fat Larry, if you don't become a frost wizard after this, you're sticking with what you get. No more. No more. That's it. You, you, you just are what you are. Read the arcane script and show... <laughs> Ice Mage. In hindsight, Ice Mage does sound a lot cooler than Frost Wizard. Here, you can have your experience back now, Fat Larry. Boom. What did that do? Oh, level three. Sweet. Oh, it's so good. Fat Larry the Cryomancer. So we're going to say always cast Ice Bolt. And then we're going to say... You think efficiency first? I think we've got to go efficiency. And for the background project, we are almost, almost done with the... Uh, with the oil, too. So the only thing we haven't built at this point is the large chem fuel power plant, which is pretty irrelevant for the timing. That's the final thing that we need to build. So that's not a big deal. The big effort we've already got to put into this now is redrilling the oil well. So I'm having to connect it all back up to power. Oh, now that is a hard choice. Do we want to embrace Fat Larry Wizardry? Oh, I guess I've got to go advanced fabrication. Especially because the end game of the oil drilling allows us to make... Advanced components out of the oil, right? In some way or another. Remus, you've done it. 15 liters of oil. That will get turned into chem fuel, and chem fuel will get turned into power. And in theory, the system will power itself, 
right? The trade-off for that, though, is we do need someone sitting at the resource console all day. I couldn't think of a more appropriate job for Shittle, to be honest with you. All he has to do is sit down all day. That's it. Well, this feels a bit weird now. Because I think for the first time ever, I've actually done what I said I was going to do. Big Larry and Big Oil. Now I'm a bit lost. Normally I say something like, hey, today we're going to rebuild the base and then everything burns down. And now we get to the real victory of today's episode. Not Big Magic Larry and not Big Magic Oil. But we in fact have a Roomba. A Roomba as in like a floor cleaner, not as in the YouTube man. Oh, you just activate it. Oh, there it goes. And it just plugs in anywhere? Oh, interesting. This must be one of the many Roomba cleaning bot mods that I haven't played yet. <laughs> oh! Hello there! Oh my god, they actually went through the kill box and I didn't even bloody notice. And now we've only got regular guns equipped too. Fat Larry. Fat Larry's now's the time. Oh god, it's pathetic. <laughs> All this. All this and we're still gonna die. Oh man, uh, maybe, maybe hide in the quarry. Maybe, maybe you guys come in here and, and hide. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go with them too. These guys, I think we're gonna have to deal with this knight fast. Oh god. Yeah, kill the knight. Shit, well, that's an RPG. Maybe, maybe get away from the damn thing. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. You guys come over here. That'll do it. Thank you, Shittle. Fat Larry, my incredibly overhyped ice mage is already down. What the hell are you aiming at? Oh, he was—he was still—he was still aiming at the old one. Got it, got it, got it. Just keep going. We've got to bail him out. Oh God. Are they attacking my Roomba? Don't attack my Roomba. I need those. Okay. The Inquisitors should blow up when we hit them. Take out Arcadius's freaking tower. Really glad I spent all these resources on you, Fat Larry. Brilliant. To be fair. He's, a, he's like a level one ice mage. He needs a bit more power behind him first. He can learn snowball. Oh, I couldn't think of a more perfect spell for Fat Larry. Now, we did get some security, but the security that we got is the vanilla expanded mechanoid stuff, which requires the mechanoid components, which we don't have any of. I think we did get a couple, but, you know, the stockpile kind of burned down. We have these things here, but all of them are manned, so we can't really do much with that either. Genuinely, our best defense right now might just be a couple of spike traps. <laughs> and I think a big investment is going to have to go into armor at this point. The, the weapons might need swapping out too. Regular old firearms versus mechanoids obviously isn't too good. But Fat Larry is still wearing the titanium armor we had. Did everyone genuinely just leave him on the floor? Come on. He's still wearing that same titanium armor we crafted in the Mage's Ghost. Same with Arcadius and Robot Mummy. Granted, Arcadius' armor is okay. Legal Lee's wearing a jacket and General Joe is wearing cloth. And in fact, almost all of them have just put on the clothes that Shittle created when he was training up. What can we make? Like, basically nothing. Tactical vest, tactical helmet. Oh, God. What, what, what about in here? Fabrication hasn't unlocked anything new then. Uh, no. In fact, our best thing is still a flak jacket, which is a little disappointing. So I guess we have a goal going forward then. We've got Fat Larry. We've got Fat Oil. Now it's time for big armor. And actually, pretty damn good progress today, I think. We've got the multi-analyzer set up. We've got fabrication. We've got advanced fabrication well on its way to being complete. And who knows, maybe that'll unlock some armor sets for us. Shit, I'll actually got some crafting skill. Fat Larry's a wizard. Oh, and how can I forget all the Blood Moon totems we got too? Massive upgrades for Arcadius. Now all we need is something for Arcadius to craft. So that will hopefully be something we're able to crack out tomorrow. And as per usual, a thank you for enjoying the adventures, I hope at least of our seven sins and their two good friends romulus and nugget tomorrow we should hopefully be back once again with some more stuff for them to do thank you as always for the patience uh with this series the internet issues are still ongoing genuinely over the course of this episode i've been sat on a uh online live chat with the company uh waiting to be connected genuinely i, I i've been there for three hours now and they haven't been able to connect me to an agent this is the this is the type of world that we live in uh so hopefully things will still continue on as they are a little bit of a rocky schedule every now and again apologies to all the patrons who i haven't been able to reply to yet because i basically have internet for like an hour a day if i'm lucky and even that is with kicking off my phone and smart devices and like a lease off of the internet all the other pcs it just has to be me so it is a real pain in the ass but hopefully it'll be resolved soon 
either way, a thank you, as per usual, goes to Jesternil. HawkC120. Highly caffeinated gamer UK. It's Steven. Mert Skirt. Zetlock. Jobo Daddy. Dan the Man. Shadow Blade. Alex Monk. Asana Kirito. Retile. Septimless Miscreant. Xylo. Galaxy Wolf, Sir Royland, Emily, and Dunker for their support. The executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you all for making the channel possible, or as possible as it can be right now. Thank you as well to Plondo, Metman, Hadgim, Matthewson T, Crystalia Astari, Foxy Cogs, Heck, Logical Builder, Infectious, DQ, Cryden Eleven, Androdust, Koi, Layer Buns, Hyota123, The Apocalypse Shovel, Lunatic, and Zesty.